All right, now I've got this entire thing covered with my white, and you're gonna be able to, remember, you're gonna be able to see those brown cracks in there, okay? It'll be okay. So if you have like a furry critter, put that brown all over the place, rub that all away so that you get those, that brown like stuck into the cracks. Brown, black, any dark color will really work, okay? I just did brown because I didn't want this to be too dark, okay? It's like creepy. I want it to be natural, like we found it in the woods in a natural way, okay? What I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna use the natural sponge, so literally a critter, okay? And I'm gonna rip away part of it because we don't need this entire thing. I don't know why they give us like massive pieces. To be honest, these are actually huge. I don't know if you actually know what a sponge looks like, but they're like, if you've ever seen a loofah, like that you use in the shower, don't use a loofah in the shower, they're not sanitary, okay? Um, but they're like this big tube thing and you like scrub it with your butt, it's pretty great. This is only a part of it. If you think about this, this is like, all the way around loofah, okay? We only want a little piece. So rip that sucker in half, okay? Dip it in some water. I'll turn it down so you actually see what I'm doing with my life. Yes, I'm still using like that nasty brown water <laughs> from before, whatever. And I'm just gonna wring it out a little bit on the table. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add little like dots on my piece with a little bit of this like mint stuff. So what if you did this with like white? or something shiny so that when your animal head comes out, it actually has a little bit of like sweat on its brow. That could be super cool, okay? So I'm just gonna like do a little bit of this. I'm gonna go a little thicker than this. If you think it's getting kind of weird, like just put it on the table, it's fine. We're gonna clean, it'll be cool. So that it kind of spreads out in your sponge and you can layer it around. I'm just gonna do a little bit. If you're super nervous and this looks terrible, Remember what you can do, you can always wash this and just try it again. Like that's the, the great part about ceramics is that you can always wash stuff and go back again. I'm gonna add some more to the back. See what that, oh, that was a bit much. Crap, okay, this is where that other synthetic sponge comes in handy. We can actually just wipe that away and I'll just try it again. Not a big deal. There we go. I don't wanna do too much, but I want it to still look kind of realistic. So that it's got like a little bit of like there's moss like growing on it. I think that'd be really cool. Because I have found like a shed with a skull attached in the woods. And I thought that was just the coolest thing of my 12 year old life. So there we go. So that's all I'm going to do with it. I'm not going to do a ton of work to it. I just want to show like a little bit of details and that you guys can use these really cool tools to make your clay projects a little bit more intense. All right. I love you guys. I miss you. I'm sorry I'm not there. Okay. I'll see you guys in January.